like I am breathing out smoke. Like I'm a fire breathing dragon, but it's just smoke. We are in Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking you on a barbecue food tour. We are gonna eat so much meat today. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna taste so good, and we are gonna be so full by the end of today. Okay, we have made it to Deep Ellum. This place is a lot different than most of Dallas, which is really nice and fancy. Here, you get more of a grunge feel. It's very artsy, too. Yes. Yeah, it's like a very like young place to hang out. There are a lot of bars, tons of restaurants. It's really, it kind of has like a quaint feel to it mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. don't you think? Yes. Now we've made it, it's 11 a.m. It just opened, let's get to lunch. We got here really early on a Sunday morning during Corona season, so I think that's why there's like barely anyone here. This is crazy that we're like one of six groups here as it's opening at 11 a.m. This probably would never happen any other time because this place is usually so crowded. You wanna talk about how much this cost? Let's talk about it. All right, so we just ordered, and it was a little bit more expensive than I thought, but we have never been here. It's a Dallas institution. I've lived here for a long time. So we haven't been here yet. But so, we got the pound rib, which... it's So it's sold by the pound, and each rib is more than one pound. And it's $24 per pound. So we just spent $35. On one rib. <laughs> I heard it's one really rib. big, like the size of this purse. So we'll I'm see. I'm excited. Yeah. And then a Pitmaster sandwich. Which ha apparently has all the meats. So, uh, this is gonna be really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, look how it's many pickles! <laughs> Yum. I think oh, you know. Oh. Alright. And you can't even pick it up with the bone because it just fell off. Whose bone is this? Bone is that? That's a big bone. I have no idea. Put the bone. Okay, so, how are you gonna tax this? What do you think? $35. That's a dollar. Mm, that was one whole dollar. Shove your hands. Mm, it is so good. It is so good. Texas barbecue, I feel, has more priority on like smoky flavor. You know, like North Carolina does sweet. And like, there's just a lot of different type of barbecue. Not that we are barbecue connoisseurs of any sort, but Texas barbecue relies on smoke flavor. Mm. I think that's what they like are proud to serve like really smoky Texas barbecue. This is really good. It is really smoky, but it's slightly sweeter than I expected. Expected. Slightly sweeter than I expected. We demolished this entire rib. It's gone. Only the fat remains and some pickles. It was so good. Oh. We got under oh we so we got sausage. Brisket? What? Oh my god, that looks amazing. The sausage is so moist and dense. Oh, that's gonna be so good. First bite. Oh, this bread looks so good too. Okay, dip it in the sauce. Wow. I've never had so many flavors going on at the same time. I'm used to eating one barbecue at a time, let alone not this amazing bread and pickles and the sauce is so good. There's smokiness from three different places. Spiciness in the sauce and spiciness in the sausage. Oh, it's so good. I'll come back for this every single day. It's gonna be breakfast, lunch, and dinner because there's so many different flavors at the same time. This is so good and now it's raining. It's literally downpouring on us. And no one cares. No one cares in line because this barbecue is worth it. If you get wet, it doesn't matter because your life will be changed. Whew, that was so good. I'm full, but that was only phase one of three. We have two more places to go to get the best Dallas barbecue on our list. We are gonna have meat sweats hardcore. <laughs> I 
can't believe we're about to have a second barbecue feast. In the same day. Like, I'm feeling a little bit guilty, but also I've always wanted to do this. So just things to get here. Don't give us any grief, hardcore barbecue people. But the thing to get here is fried chicken. And we know fried chicken doesn't like constitute as barbecue, but they apparently have the best fried chicken in all of Dallas, as rated on like D Magazine and the, like Eater Magazine and all of the food magazines in Dallas. Because they it's say, smoky? They smoke the water that they brine the chicken in. So it's like this whole process of them like smoking water, letting the chicken brine in there for like days and days and days. And then they fry it, and then they reheat it, and it's just like this whole process. Apparently, it makes the best fried chicken, and we're really excited I'm to try so it. So excited to try it! Fried chicken on a Sunday is one of my favorite things. That's good, really good, like Chick Fil A good. It has such a unique flavor. It's completely seasoned, like all the way through. That is just such a, like, a confusingly delicious bite of chicken. Like the consistency of the flavor throughout the entire piece of meat, because I just like bit into a huge breast, is delicious. And it's really crispy on the outside. I feel like at most fried chicken places, which again, this is a barbecue place, most of the flavor like lies in the breading itself, but you could eat the chicken just without the breading and it's just as delicious. It is so, so good. You need to try it. At Slow Bone, they have this Brussels sprouts and cauliflower gratin, like potato gratin. Gratin, gratin, I don't know how you say it. Kind of just like mac and cheese. I'm glad we tried it. It's worth it. All right, so we got ribs, but they are not dinosaur ribs. They're not dinosaur Normal ribs. ribs. They're pork ribs. They're coffee rub is what they put on the ribs and it makes it like have this really unique flavor. So that is what we got here. And I'm excited to like see the difference between the dinosaur rib and this rib, because that dinosaur rib is delicious. It is like completely different. Well, you know, one was pork, one was beef. This is really good. You need to try one. Ding. <laughs> Oh, super tender, really juicy. But there's something really there that I don't know what it is. It's probably a coffee. What is that flavor? It's a secret flavor. That it's that like when you flavor. eat a brownie and you're like, this is way too chocolatey. Like, I'm not really sure where this comes from. And then you realize there's a cup of coffee in that little pan of brownies. Like, it makes a big difference. Now we are in downtown McKinney. This place is so cute. It's nothing like the big city of Dallas. You definitely get a small city feel here. Okay, so we are technically up here in McKinney, Texas at my favorite barbecue place, Hutchins. And funny story, I used to work just down the road. So I would come here for lunch all the time and I had no idea that it was like on Dallas's like top 10 barbecue places of all time. It really is so good. We have so many good things. We have Texas Twinkies, which are stuffed jalapenos, wrapped in bacon, brisket, really great mac and cheese, and broccoli salad. This is going to be amazing. This place has free ice cream, and free banana pudding, and free peach cobbler. Can you wrap your head around that? Free dessert. It's the best. This is the Texas Twinkie. I don't, I thought it was gonna be a fried Twinkie because that's what I'm used to, because of the Texas State Fair, that is what's popular. You think there's much of season here? No, I think it, it's filled with like cream cheese and like and cheese. And that's it. Breathe out dragon fire. Oh, and it's filled with brisket. Filled with brisket. You have the smokiness <laughs> of the brisket, you have the smokiness of the bacon, the jalapeno is a fresh flavor, and then the cheese really? inside is so warm. Is it hot? Did it burn your mouth? No. <laughs> but I could eat like 12 of the, well I think I can, yeah. but it's so rich. I think we need like four more of these. Um, They're five dollars each. Mm, four that. But honestly, this is like a meal in itself. You mm -hmm. could just come here and get Texas Twinkies and walk out happy. It's called Texas Twinkies. I just can't get over that. This might be the place. I know you guys are like, why'd you come all the way up to McKinney, which is like 30 minute drive away from Dallas. It's and pretty far. The best barbecue in Dallas. But this is probably worth it in my mind. Okay. This is so good. And now it's some of this broccoli salad because the Brussels sprouts we had earlier today were not really true greens, but this <laughs> is pretty green. It's crunchy, it's tangy, it's like, I don't know, like not like ranch, but almost like ranch, and then the cheese and the red onion just give a fresh bite to equal out the really, really, really savory, salty mm. part of the, yeah. 
Mac and cheese is really good because it's like grainy, but in like a good way. Like it's actual cheese. Yeah. This ain't no Velveeta. No mm -hmm. Velveeta here. <laughs> Straight from the couch. So I have a lot of experience with Hutchins brisket. I've had it lean. I've had it marbled, which is like when there's more fat on it. It's good always. And it has such like a pretty smoke ring. It's kind of hard to see, but it is just, ooh, it is so good. And it is, the, I think, from the, the different types of barbecue we've had today at different places, this is the smokiest flavor I think you'll get. Like it really is like, when we walk out of here, we're gonna be like, have we been in a smoker? It is so good, but like, wow. Does it feel like you're smoking a cigarette? Well, like a meat flavored cigarette. <laughs> you got my pickle, my brisket. Cool. People think I'm crazy because I'm always looking for the smoky taste. Here, it is like I am breathing out smoke. Like I'm a fire breathing dragon, but it's just smoke. Like that has filled my face. I feel like I am full of smoke. That is so good. This is the banana pudding. I'm gonna stick this whole thing in my mouth. Free. Free. Banana pudding with vanilla wafers. Nothing better. It tastes like my Mimi's. Mm. Not as good, Mimi. <laughs> but it's very good. But wait, there's more. This is so good. And just so you know, we filmed this entire video in four hours. And we've eaten all this food in four hours. No small feet, but desserts always worth it. Worth it. How do you feel right now? I am about to explode, but all it's gonna take is like eight ounces of Sprite and I'm and gonna- some ice cream? Well, burp up the vinegar. That's what I need to do. Yum. <laughs> I am so full of delicious brisket and sausage and ribs and, and I don't think Twinkies. I don't think I've ever eaten so much meat in one day Same in here. my life. I don't like, think we're really carnivores by our diet, but today Also, was we normally can't like afford this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think this was a great look into the different types of barbecue you can get and also like the top places mm -hmm. in Dallas and surrounding areas. Hutchins just happens to like have a wonderful, warm place in my heart. I think you got me with Hutchins. That was definitely yeah. my favorite because your mouth was filled with smoke. What about you? I mean, the Texas Twinkie, I really, you can't beat that. It is so good. Mm -hmm. This has been a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Uh, what? Big bite out. <laughs> there you go. Okay. okay. God. So I think I'm officially crazy. The barbecue sauce is so good here. It's getting me to put pickles and bacon, which is complimentary by the way. Dip it in barbecue sauce. Mm. I could even need to barbecue like. I need is pickles and bacon apparently. Thanks Save for your bringing money. Us to your hometown. You're welcome. I forgot. So you have the smokiness <laughs> of the Caroline's brisket. Caroline's face is like, how could you forget? More meat. <laughs>